to the first vlog and I'm pretty sure this is the first video of 2024 right I think that's crazy because it's definitely almost the end of February do not hate me but before we get into this vlog um, we need to give a huge shout out to the sponsor of today's video which is a long time and loved sponsor here on our channel dossier Okay, so these are two newer fragrances for me. And when I say newer, I mean like not my typical dossier fragrances. So we got one floral marshmallow. And then the other one that I wanted to try is going to be fruity honey. So I'm going to open them up for you. Of course, we've got that amazing minimalist packaging, which is in true dossier form. Okay, so we can see them both. Iconic scents, designer quality, no markups. We love to see it. So the Fruity Honey is going to be um, inspired by your Jo Malone Nectarine Blossom and Honey Cologne. So excited for that. And then this one here is going to be inspired by Killian's Love Don't Run by Killian. Love Don't Be Shy. Oh, Love Don't Be Shy. Um, yes. Yeah, so per usual, it's going to list out all of the notes for you. You've got your top, your middle, and your base. Um, absolutely obsessed. So let's do a smell test really quick. Okay. So I'm definitely seeing why it is named Floral Marshmallow on the dossier site. Um, it's giving warm cinnamon marshmallow. You guys, it literally smells so good. It's giving warm. It's giving seductive. It's giving sexy. I really, really like this. And then again, we can see the top, the middle, and the base notes. And I love how gorgeous and dark and concentrated this color is. I really love that one. So now let's check out the other one, which is Fruity Honey, which, um, okay, yeah, this is the Jo Malone inspired one. I've gotten a few Jo Malone inspired candles from Dossier, so I'm excited to see if I like the fragrance. Okay, so I've actually smelled this one before. I think I've gotten it before. Um, I like it. It's not my absolute favorite, but I think I would love this more as a home spray because if I'm not mistaken, I actually got this same scent as a candle. Um, so there are your top notes, your middle notes. It looks like honey and nectarine. And then your base notes. Um, you've got some peach in there. This one is definitely a lighter, flirtier type fragrance, you guys. But like I said, I definitely think this would be beautiful as like a hair mist or like a root spray um, just because it's a little bit lighter so another shout out to dossier for sponsoring today's vlog you guys i will put all the good stuff down in the description box below per usual um, along with my discount code so you can get money off when you shop please do not forget to go check out dossier you guys they are amazing i absolutely love them the quality of their products is literally unrivaled you guys go get you some and thank you dossier let's get into the vlog <laughs> Your shoes didn't load it for you. Right? Okay, so we're getting laser lipo, which I've done this before. You guys have seen this. There's the little machine. Um, shout out to Mayceuticals, you guys. I love getting this done. And of course, we're doing our tummy. So we're gonna watch my wife and kids while I am getting my session done. This is one of my favorite treatments to get. Hi, long time no freaking see, you guys. This is, well, actually it's just like riding a bike. I was gonna say it feels so weird to have a camera in my face, but it doesn't because I'm a veteran. But I have not picked up the camera to film in for YouTube. And let me see, was I filming in? Like the whole month of January, I did not film. Um, it is the first week of February. Happy new month, you guys. 
Um, yeah, I just, I did not film anything for January and I think I had plans to, um, I filmed like snippets of stuff, but like as far as like sitting down and actually filming or vlogging didn't happen. Um, yeah, so happy new year, you guys. I'm so happy to see you. Um, I hope you all had a really good like Christmas and holiday and new year and all that stuff. Um, I have so much to talk to you about, but I will just tell you where I am right now. So I am at, um, May Suticles. You guys have been here with me before. I'm getting laser lipo light. Um, I've had that and the ultrasonic cavitation, but I like the laser lipo better. So I'm getting that. Um, so I had my first session today. Um, and then after this, we have a, <laughs> um, I'm laughing because it's funny, a neurofeedback appointment. So... I'm trying to figure out like where to start with all of this because I really have to start at the beginning so that everything will make sense. So um, I started off my new year, like December was amazing. My new year was really good. I started off like really optimistic um, just about like 2024 and really happy and grateful for 2023 and like excited for what God had in store for me for 2024. And then something happened. And you guys, when I say my memory is so bad, I know that's like a, a symptom of like PTSD and anxiety, but it's so bad because I don't remember. And I guess if I sat down, and like thought about it, I could figure it out, but something happened. There was some type of trigger and I had like a really bad anxiety um, I call it a wave if you guys know about anxiety. So it starts at the bottom with like a trigger and then like things pile on and build up and then you hit a peak and then you come down and on the come down side is depression. It's so fun. Um, <laughs> but so yeah, I had an anxiety wave. Um, it was short. It lasted a week, depression phase included, but it was probably one of the worst ones that I've had since may of 2023 so that and that kind of put i don't want to say it put a damper but it definitely like it took the wind out of my sails for like my optimism and everything i was feeling going into 2024 so january kind of was like a i don't want to say it was a wash because that was only one week but it felt like it was longer than a week, first of all, and it kind of took a lot out of me um, as far as motivation-wise, so I definitely wasn't about to sit down in front of anybody's camera and film. So yeah, and then school started back on the 28th, and I don't know. I just was just not in the mood. Feeling and doing much better now, obviously. Thank you, Jesus. But when I tell you, like, I have so much stuff going on. Not, not negative stuff, good stuff. So I didn't really have any goals per se for 2024, because when I tell you 2023 was like my best year since building my house, 2023 was an amazing year. It was a year full of major accomplishments and a lot of growth and a lot of healing. Um, there were some really hard moments in 2023, but definitely not enough to say like, it was a really good year, but it was also a really hard year. There was probably like maybe three or four really, really hard moments. Um, but when I tell you like the growth I have had as a woman, as a person, as a human, as a child of God, it has been like insane, like amazing. So it's really amazing. Um, but so like I said, I didn't really have any goals because a lot of the things that I wanted to do or I would have wanted to do, I already did them in 2023. <laughs> Or I already started putting things in place, if that makes sense. Um, but for 2024, so I really just wanted to focus on like getting, basically being as healthy as I could be in all aspects of my life. So like my mental health, my physical health, my spiritual health, my um, like appearance wise, all of that stuff. So a couple of things that I wanted to do, which like I said, I already did or already like set these things up. So I'm getting neurofeedback. If you don't know what that is, I don't know if I'm the one who can explain it to you. I don't know how we're going to do this. Maybe Bianca can put like a link to some information because I will say I'm not filming my sessions just because it's not something I want to film. Like this is something I'm doing for me and my mental health. I'm not going to come in there and put a camera in my, my, um, my practitioner's face. So yeah, but I'm getting neurofeedback. I am doing 30 sessions and it's been really good. It's been really amazing. 
I'm still in therapy every week. I'm still doing my anxiety workshop every other week. When I tell you like, baby, <laughs> everything there is available to do, I am doing it. Um, that's one thing you can't say about me. Like if, if I can do it as far as like getting my mental health under control and healing and inner work and all that stuff, like I'm doing it. I'm currently seeing four psychiatrists or four, like four, um, psychologists rather. So baby, listen, we are getting it together. So I'm doing the neural feedback. That is really amazing. I'm actually going there after this. Um, but I thought I'd just take a moment in my car and just kind of talk about all the things. Um, another thing that I wanted to do in the new year, and I booked this appointment like in 2023, um, was to get laser hair removal. So I bought a package. I'm doing my happy trail again. I'm doing, um, full face. So I'm getting that. I started that last month and I think I have eight sessions. So I'll go, I'll be going for eight months. I've done it before. I'm going to the same place. I'm going to Kumi. Shout out to Kumi. I'm obsessed with them. Um, what else am I doing? So laser hair removal, the lipo light sessions, neurofeedback. <laughs> like when I tell you, like when I say I'm the queen of get your life together, I really am. So but anyways, so yes, happy Saturday. Like I said, we just finished the laser lipo. Then we're going to head to neurofeedback. Um, I need to go to the grocery store. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that um, today. I really need to because that's like one of my things that I need to do better at, baby. Because I noticed that this happens. When my family comes, typically they'll like cook for me every day. And so I forget how to like cook for myself. And then I go back to just ordering food every single day. Now, I will say it's not anything like majorly bad. It's like a lot of bowls from Chipotle with like no rice and no um, no beans. And I like my pizza and my salad still. But I mean, it's like a small pizza. It's like a mini pizza. And um, what else do I like to order? Like salada. So... But still, I need to go back to cooking at home. Um, I haven't gained any weight or anything, but I just... Because I'm still doing my 12 3 30 honey, faithfully. 12 3 30 is life-changing for so many reasons. But let me get off my soapbox. Um, oh, and then I'm getting my lashes done tomorrow. But yeah, when I say I started off my new year, like, really amazing. Like, I had my... And you're going to see it because I'll put the clips in. But, like, hair done, lashes done, carpets clean, house cleaned, like... I love to start off my new year like that. Like, it's amazing. And it was really my new year. Because typically, like, maybe that'll happen, like, end of January or February. But no, this year, baby, it was, like, right before the new year. I'm trying to decide if I want to drink my water. Still drinking a gallon of water a day. Um, before my neural feedback, I just don't know how, if I'm going to have time to pee. And the last thing I want is to be sitting in that chair with that brain helmet on and be like, oh, sorry, I have to pee. I don't know, baby. Decisions, decisions. But anyways, welcome back. Missed you. We're here at Neurofeedback. I'm in my usual garb. I literally don't wear real shoes anymore, you guys. It's just overrated. I'll talk to you when we get out. So this is what we ended up making. So this is like this teriyaki little glazed chicken situation that I do. Um, I just steamed some broccoli and then my famous red skin potatoes with the homemade yogurt sauce got my usual in the background you see my spot on the couch already ready for me um and i'm gonna have some water and eat my late lunch okay so i'm just sitting on the couch my usual i just woke up from like a four hour nap ignore that chip on my carpet um but i just got a delivery from amazon you guys one thing about me and i'm sure everybody knows this by now i stay with a package on the way and sometimes when I don't have packages on the way, like I feel empty, but anyways, um, so I ordered the infamous viral, well, I don't know if it's viral, I've seen it like three times, um, but the snail mucin cream, is that what it's called, snail, snail mucin, I'm pretty sure, um, I saw this on Jacqueline Hill's channel, she did like a, I think it was like a favorite and yes i actually do watch jacqueline hill i'm subscribed to her subscribe to her um but okay so this is what it looks like and supposedly this stuff is like life-changing um so i'm really excited to use this um and i think it's made from like snail sec secretions um but yeah i ordered mine off amazon so i will report back but i'm super excited hi 
happy Saturday. It is a very overcasty day today, so if the lighting looks weird, that's why. Um, but yeah, happy Saturday. I am currently sitting out in front of my um, psychiatrist's office. This is where two of my people are, <laughs> two out of the four people that I see. So I do my neurofeedback here, and then I also see my actual psychiatrist here. So I just did the appointments back to back. So I had one at 12. That was my neurofeedback I just finished, and then I'll have my psychiatrist appointment um, at one o'clock. And then later on this afternoon, I think at like 4.30, we are going to do laser lipo. Um, and then at some point I need to make it to the gym. And then tomorrow we are getting these lashes done because like, and it's so, oh, you see, this is the little, the thing from um, where they put the, the little cap for neurofeedback, if you know anything about it. But yeah, my lashes are out of control and it's so funny because I still get compliments on them and I'm just like, if you think this looks good, like wait until I get my fill, you're going to be blown away. So anyways, that's what's going on. So I'm just sitting in my car waiting for, waiting until um, my appointment and then I'm gonna go home and make me a smoothie because you guys saw um, the other day that I got um, all new smoothie ingredients and I'm really excited for the apples. Like apples just are a game changer in smoothies. It's like blueberries. It's just a game changer. So I cannot wait. And then I'm going to make, I've been craving like sausage and eggs. So I'm going to make Hillshire sausage and eggs. And yeah, because I really need to get my life together with the like eating out and ordering food. Like it's honestly getting out of control. Like I feel like I'm like addicted to DoorDash. And let me not put that out there. But like DoorDash makes me so happy because it's just so convenient. And then you get like the little notifications when your order is picked up and then they just send you a picture and like leave it outside and don't even ring the doorbell. I just like that whole concept is just it's just really nice to me. But I need to get it together because I feel like my face is getting like chubbier. My thighs are rubbing together a little bit more, baby. I haven't gained any weight, but I I just still feel like I'm noticing those things. I feel like my face has gotten so fat and I really don't understand why. Like, I just want it like to be like, anyways. Okay, so we're back home and we've got the most delicious. I love it when things taste just like how you thought they would. So it's, don't mind my chip nail. I literally just got them done. Anyways, it is a cucumbers, red apples, and a half a banana and a lot of spinach and a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. It's freaking delicious, you guys. Cheers. And yes, my Christmas tree is up. We're gonna take it down this weekend though, cause it's February. Mm. Happy Sunday. You're spending it doing my favorite thing. 12, 3, 30. Thank you. <laughs> 